Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Nope. Oh, hello. Why do you have to pick up all the glass yourself? Why don't you use your robot companions? They exist. We know they exist. Or do they not exist yet? Do Atlas and Wheatley not exist yet? I don't know what the timeline is for Atlas and Wheatley. I'm forgetting it for the moment. Hello, giant pit of acid. Cool. I will say that I don't I don't think I'll be flying through the air without a care in my world in the world. I think that when I'm flying through the air is like explicitly the moment where I care the most about what's going on. Because I'm flying through the air and that's not great. Oh. No. I wasn't fast enough. Alright. I just gotta be able to reapply these in time, right? Alright, and so we begin again. I gotta shoot the, the orange one onto the far one. Here it comes, and... Boom! Ha ha! Nightmare mode! Oh, oh I ended up here, cool. Was that intentional? Either way, the portals are here, so I'm mostly okay. Aha. Th I'm sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. That seems important. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. I don't know. This It's like a weighted cube, kind of. Well, sphere. Wait, where am I supposed to put it? Oh, there's the button. How do I get to the button? Uh, from... Oh, oh it's dead. Poor guy. Uh, you get to the button via something or other. So it goes over there from... A direction? A bunch of stuff just kind of lands down there, which you can fetch by doing this. What's this? Oh, it's a laser disc. Ew, get it out. And a chair. Ew, get it out. And water. Ew. Here, just dis disintegrate it so I get more oxygen. Okay, so here's the cube. What is going on with this chamber? It goes by here. Obviously, it shoots into these two places. Interestingly, your portals auto-center on those things. Your portal's only about half the size of the actual space it can land on there, but it very specifically centers on the platform. So that's the that's the obvious part, is getting it here, this far. The question is, how do I get my... How do I get it over there? There's no... Oh, never mind. That's super easy. There's a ceiling spot right there. Alright, fall just right, please. Yay! Lucky. It didn't fall Remember off. before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Oh, I'm sorry. I was insulting you and realized you might not have gotten the insult, so I had to insult you again, clearly, before I apologize. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Get it? You're guilty because you killed me. Do you regret it yet, you monster? Or more accurately, you monster! I can't do it. He's, it's not. It's not fair. She's got a robot voice. I don't think Alan McLean can actually do the Gladys voice. They edit it. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go but, ahead and grab another one. But companion cube. Oops. You gonna do it again? You gonna do it again? No. Oh no. I fizzled that one, too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. 
So now, oh, hello, that was Wheatley. So now she's just actually actively shitting on the uh, companion cube from the previous game because the player had any attachment to it at all. Aha! I got on it. You can't fizzle it now. Oh. Right. There we go. Wheatley, where'd you go? I saw you for a moment there. Is he stuck in the, uh, the sewage? Sewage is not the accurate thing to call this, but is he stuck in the inner workings here as he gets tortured bit by bit? I might be able to launch across piece by piece if I'm careful. Also, I should probably sh- oh, hello. Not what I meant to do, really. Let's try it again. Hey, QB. Alright. So from here, I can probably get somewhere. Where's the button? Over there? So button there, me there. I can probably make that work. Just need to put this somewhere where I can reach it. Hopefully. Huh? Huh? There we go. There you go. Who's a good friend? Yes, you are. Companion cube saves lives. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I need to catapult over there. But the floor here is all dinky and gross. And that's a problem. At which point, you presumably need to gain momentum like this or something? But if you get a little momentum, you're already shooting across, right? Like, if I gain just a little bit, I'm already in trouble? Yeah. So you can't really build momentum. I can't jump up from here, so I need a way to get momentum here. Wait, what am I... Why am I- why am I confused about this? Just shoot here, and... Hep. Yeah, that was a non-issue. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Well, that's just a dare, honestly. You have to just understand that about me, right? Let's see, was there a... Yep, there's a portal service. In base four, I'm fine. Oh, here we go. Ah. The cube is mine. Suck it, Gladys. I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I figured that was what was gonna happen, but I had to try. Defiance is important, you'll, you'll figure it out when you're older. Oh, another day at work. How's thing, how are things this going, Gladys? This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh, she's being a ch she's being a cheeky tutorializer, up uh, where she explains things said specifically. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. <laughs> If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. That's fantastic. Alright, so I need to shoot across this laser to get across. And to light the beam. A little more. That, that opens the door! Yay! Unfortunately, I need access to said door. And if I go through the emancipation field, it'll destroy my portals, which is a problem. Immediately. But yeah, she's, she's a... Uh, She's being cheeky by ruining tutorials because she specifically explained a mechanic when it wasn't being used in the area, which is what bad tutorials do. But in this case, emancip emancipation grids don't require that much learning. So if I go through a portal, these go away, right? Yep. You're immediately screwed. So, I need to find a way to get there while these are active is the problem. Okay. So the glass is complete. The entire wall is solid except for this hole. Oh, hello. What do you do? 
Where are you? You're there. Okay. I also have this ability, which lets me go through a portal and go past the grid if I have reason to. So here's the cube. So this could be useful. I think the only I don't think this uh, hole is useful for anything besides being able to shoot past, uh, being able to technically shoot past this thing, basically. All right, so I should probably move the blue portal in a place that's more useful, like that. There we go. There we. Go. I can probably use that if I'm really careful. Jumped over the laser. Hello. Hip. Oh. Our height's all wrong. Well, that's not good. Still, I can use this. That means I can redirect this laser. And I still have my portal. Which means this is still open. I just have a nice camera to ruin. Oh, never mind. You're not a real laser. You can't even melt cameras. What are you good for, then? You melt me, though, don't you? Yes, yes you do. Ow. It's like riding a Harley in sandals. Hello. Oh no! Emancipation! Aww. Are you the proclamator? She really did leave me. I feel so lonely now. I'm jealous of that giant lab full of glass that she's picking up. The return of Wheatley? It's every bit as dramatic as that part of Dead Space where somebody doesn't have arms and they're trying to commit suicide by ramming their head against the wall over and over again until they eventually succeed. Except it's the AI. <laughs> I have no mouth, but I must scream. Oh. Okay. I'm like, oh, what's this wall gonna turn into? This, the answer was nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> the wall turned into nothing. That's it. Hey, hey, it's me! I'm okay! <laughs> well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. That was adorable. Believe what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. <laughs> this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. She's so insistent on this, uh, on the fat jokes. Big bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Oh, and now he's locked back in there. That's an elaborate fat joke. She tried really hard on that one. I have to applaud that. Oh, hi. Hey. The moment when you look up and you, then you keep going in that direction and it's actually down because you went through a portal and you have to recenter yourself because your brain just imploded on itself. Yeah, that's fun. All right. Hello, lasers. How are you doing? I don't know why I did that. That was a bad plan on my part. Huh? Hi. What's your deal? You're a button. Why are you a weird button? How do I get thrust? Was there a white spot down here? The answer is no. I don't think I can get up there, can I? Just by using gravity? Aha! Nope. Wrong direction entirely. Uh, 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 uh. Try this again. Hit. Ah! Oh. Actually, I actually almost had that. Hit. Nope. Seemed to be clipping into stuff too early. Wait. Okay, so... 
I want to go up there. And I can't drop down like normal. We have this cannon thing. There we go. Hup. Okay, gotcha. There we go. That's what I was, That's the element I was missing. The funny thing is I think I made that... Oh, okay, that's disorienting. I think I made that exact same mistake when I played the game years ago, too. I think, I got, I think my brain made the exact same mistakes and failed to correct itself. It was like, yeah, you gotta shoot up instead of down. In my defense, I think that's never used at any point in the first game, so it's kind of a new concept in this case. Ow! Poorly planned on my part. Yeah, the idea of using it to shoot straight up in the air and then using that as your momentum, that is a little fresh. Now you just need to try to be ready for it. So here's a new issue, potentially. That laser needs to be active in order for the door- Oh, just for the door to be open. Okay. That's not such a big deal. So I can just re-put the- I can put the lasers back there in a moment. Oh, 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 yeah. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, oh. like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Like an eagle- like an eagle piloting a blimp. I have questions to ask, honestly. About what? <laughs> about what did you say? Let's not walk off the ledge this time. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, a little bit of a hiccup there. But we're good. Hello. Oh. Yeah, those are all super low polygon items in order to uh, make them loadable so that their constant flurry of running down the uh, tube doesn't hitch up the game at all. Which is a good touch. It's just, it's uh, the developer paying attention and doing, doing what they can with the, what they have. This was an Xbox 360 game. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Yes. The music's coming in. I love the music in Portal so much. Also, things we know about the outside world. One, there are deer. Two, question mark? <laughs> Some untold amount of time has passed. You have been in cryostasis for nine, 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 nine. Ah, lasers. So we don't know a ton about that. This thing probably has to move. There's a laser going into a wall. I can't block that right now unless I had a cube, which I don't have because pain. If I touch that. There's thrusters in the wall, that's also strange. Let's try going this way. Oh, hello. Strange looking lower chamber. More of those guys. I don't think there's anything up here I can portal to. Seems pretty much not that kind of place. Okay. Hello, giant camera way, way up there. There's a glass platform up there, too. This is a big chamber. Okay. Plan for it. So back down. It, it. So this shoots back there. Hello. Is that like you trying to sweep, basically? Weird. You can't portal anything around here, so that cube is like being taunted. It's like taunting us by hiding there in the corner. As that thing spins endlessly. It's staying where it is without coming off of it because of the fact that it's in the corner, so it can't get out of the corner itself. What's in the pit? Ah, there we go. The floor is portable, portable so that gives us the, the ability to generate thrust when needed. We just need to choose the direction, and of course we need to shoot towards the cube, so that's narrowing that down. Geronimo! Huh? There we go. You're mine now. Thank you. Uh... I'm sure I'll be fine. What could go wrong? Huh? Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Huh? Okay, cool. It's only a lot of bone breaking and pain going on here. She'll get over it in time. You just gotta believe in her faculties. Uh, what am I- what did I accomplish here? Okay, so now this thing's down. Which does... something! Okay, uh... This one's a little odd, because I need to figure out what my goal even is. Where am I trying to go? Up there, I suppose? Because just because up there exists, so I probably want to go up there. 
Oh, maybe when I touch the cannon now, it'll actually make contact with the other one. By the way, I'm just gonna call them man cannon instead of habit, because they're just, they're, they feel enough like Halo. Oh yeah, that's all, that's all I needed then. There's nothing else to solve there. Okay, so I need a cube to go there, to, to, to proceed. So I need to get myself and the cube there. Is this a second one or the same one? That's a laser one, okay. That's useful. Hup, hi. That was, okay, convenient. Um, so now I need... I need to redirect the laser. I see what's going on here. So, laser goes here. More specifically, I mean I need to uh, use this to point this at a wall, which I then portal to make a laser go there instead. So you're going to come back with me. So I'm going to use you on the exit. But I'll use you on this wall, which I will then shoot with this portal. Which just activated whatever's going on over there. And the music continues to get better. What's great is they're doing that one mechanic you see in some games where the music will actually change over time based on my, my behavior in the level. There we go. Yeah, you may have noticed that the music was repeatedly changing to match my progress in the level, and it's getting more lively as we go on. It's really good. Well, I you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Now we know there's humans up there. Or at least we think there might be humans up there. It all comes down to whether or not she's telling the truth, and why would she? Ever.